So we placed our stoves with the school feeding programs in Darfur. And the interesting thing about, about those programs is that when you're in the camps, you can tell which kids go to school and which kids don't. The kids that go to school get this boost of nutrition from the World Food Program diet, which is this high energy, high protein cocktail they get once a day. We now have stoves functioning in 200 schools, 100 in North Darfur, 100 in South Darfur. And on my trip there, I trained uh, over 400 cooks in using these stoves. So now what we have going on is a major field trial with stoves scattered all over the country in use daily to make this wonderful cocktail for these kids. Being in the camps was very daunting. 20 years ago, the society in Darfur was pretty high functioning. In fact, they had one of the highest literacy rates in Africa. And now they're almost completely dysfunctional. A third of the population are in camps. Um, fully half the population are homeless and transient. And there are more than 40 insurgent groups in Darfur wreaking havoc. Um, insurgent groups are mostly gangs of young men with heavy weapons, 50 caliber machine guns and AK-47s and they're cruising around in Toyota trucks and they're out of control. So three or four years ago when Damon and I were organizing this this project. We defined our mission as providing technologies for organizations serving the poorest of the poor. And in Darfur, I gotta say, we hit the mark. These people are the poorest of the poor. And these 200 stoves in, in schools across Darfur are gonna serve 80 to 100,000 kids and they're probably going to be used seven days a week, or six days a week anyway. But this is a field trial. We're just, we're just proving the technology, getting feedback from the cooks, and I believe the demand is going to be huge, that we have hit the mark, that we can affect the lives of people in Darfur.